Joining us now to talk about the situation in Syria is Emilio Viano, professor in the Department of Justice, Law and Society from American University. Welcome back to the show. You know, with the violence spilling over into neighboring countries like Lebanon and Hezbollah becoming more involved, is it putting pressure on the international community uh, to do something more with this, especially with this meeting in Brussels? Well, certainly there is uh, quite a bit of pressure and every time we hear about what is happening in Syria, we notice that everyone uses the adjective international, which means that everyone is aware that this can really explode into, a, at a minimum, a regional conflict of great magnitude and grave consequences. Uh, there are, of course, many countries that want to play a pivotal role for many different reasons. First of all, to show that they have influence, that they can uh, control events, and when it comes to, let's say, selling arms, there is also the profit motive. Well, let's take a look at, we said international, but some of these neighboring countries who are dealing with the refugee issue, but then we're also starting to see the spillover of violence in Turkey and Lebanon. Could something cause those countries just to act on their own without the international intervention? Uh, that would be very difficult for them because of the consequences and because of the logistics involved. They would need tremendous support uh, either if they, if they intervene either by air or by land. They cannot, really, they cannot really intervene. The only country that would have a chance would be Turkey. Um, other countries like Iraq, one could argue, might be interested too because the Shiites are now finally controlling the country or at least partially the country and they of course fear that, uh, that the Sunni might gain the control of Syria, which might inspire their own Sunnis to continue their rebellion and maybe even try to separate from Iraq and create another state, let's say. So uh, they and Iran have an interest in maintaining uh, the uh, Assad or at least the group that Assad represents, the Alawites, in power in Syria in order to avoid uh, a resurgence of Sunni power that could spill over, particularly in Iraq. This is, those, these are the countries that have most uh, to, to gain or to lose depending on the outcome of the war. But even Iraq, I don't think with all the violence that is racking the country, 700 people at least were killed in, 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 a, in attacks in, 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 the, in the month of April and already 140 during May, um, has really no interest in dividing itself, even though there is that centripetal, centripetal force in the country. I want to get your thoughts on this visit to Syria by U.S. Senator John McCain. Why the visit, and do you think there's any chance that it could alter U.S. policy on Syria at all? Well, certainly McCain, uh, again, wants to portray himself as somebody who has uh, influence in foreign policy. There is also a little bit of a partisan aspect to this because President Obama has been relatively prudent and McCain and the Republicans may want to show that he is slow to act when it might be in the interest of the U.S. And uh, on, the, on the other hand, McCain also wants to use his experience as somebody who has fought in wars uh, to portray himself and the Republicans on the side of the moderates supposedly who are fighting supposedly for liberty and independence in Syria. But certainly, as many have argued, sending more arms uh, to this uh, area that is already awash with arms is not going to help peace. It's only going to create more, more misery, more destruction. What we really need is a serious peace conference where all parties join and possibly maybe an agreement is reached to divide Syria into different areas. We have seen this happen in, say, Yugoslavia. Uh, there was once one country called Yugoslavia. Today there are seven supposedly independent countries carved out of this area in the Balkans. So why not here? Uh, certainly Assad and the Alawites and the Shiites have an interest in protecting themselves from not only revenge, but historical oppression on the part of the Sunnis. And the Sunnis may have an interest in uniting themselves with the Sunnis of Iraq, where, that are mostly in the south of Iraq, near Basra, and create their own areas, and so on and so forth. All right, Emilio Viana, we appreciate your time and your insight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me.